in the past few months, we're watching the news of coronavirus, and we want to understand where are this country being affected and how many cases are in these countries. Today, let's look at this data set and learn how to make a geographical map using countries and numbers and illustrate that on Excel. Hello, this is Vera Chen from PhD Coffee Time. If you like this type of content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss anything. So let's say if you're interested in the data set here and you only have the number and the country, what you could do is to copy that information, put it on an Excel sheet like this. You notice they are in paragraphs because they were text. So what you could do is to do text to column function, define the delimited value, and sometimes they are tab or space delimited. And in our data set here, you can see colon is separating the region and the list of country in our case. So the list of country is in column B right now, while column A shows the region, and we separated it in a single cell. I make sure all the row heights are standardized by entering manually the row height as the first row, 14 and a half. And now you see all the data in single row. I manually remove all the space that are in the number that are larger than 1,000 here. And we can check how many values are there. Our data sets that we're interested in are mostly after column B. As you can see, the data are separated by bracket, open and close bracket. We could separate these values into separate column by making the delimiter as open bracket. Now what you can see is all the number are separated into a new column and separated by names of countries. But we have a problem here because now we have the last unit of each row and luckily we have a small set of data with five rows. So I could now do a menu change to just make sure all the last value are entered manually. And then I replace the close bracket by found and replace, and I replace them with nothing. So now it cleans the data up that we can have all these values in a single cell, and all the countries are contained in one single cell. And I proceed by copying and pasting and inserting new column here to make sure um, the data structuring um, is compliant to the next tool that we're going to use when we report the data. So in this case, we have two columns. You can see column B is the country, column C is the count. This is the exciting part because you will go to insert in store and you click on geographical map. In the setting of your map, you can choose the world map and select data from the Excel spreadsheet. Here I chose green to red as the color scheme because red is more intuitive as the country that has the most number of cases. But now you find a problem because we have extreme value in one country that is China. The, every other country looks exactly the same color in green. So there's a possibility to transform the data using log n plus 1. And in here you can see now the highest value is now 4 and the minimum value is 0 0.3. And you can see this, the shades of colors are more even and we are now able to see in the new map all the other countries that are also having an outbreak, including Japan, Italy, South Korea. There's also an option to zoom in to see in higher definition of the border of countries. In the end, if you want to report this visualization of data, you can also export you can export this figure in either PNG file, which is a simple image file, or an SVG file.
An SVG file stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It represents a file that you can scale to any size of a product that you want. It could be a poster, it could be in the visuals that you need to print out later. So it comes handy when you need to uh, make printable deliverable. And common software that can read SVG files include Enscape and Illustrators. These are some topics I could cover in the future. Please comment below. Do you use geographical maps for your research? And what are the topics you would like me to cover next? By looking at this map, we all understand that this is certainly influencing a lot of people. I hope this video reminds everyone of proper hand hygiene. That means before you eat and before you touch your face, always wash your hands with soap and water. Water is not enough because if you want to break the viral particle, you must use soap. Make sure to clean your palm, the back of your hand, the web of your fingers, all the small surfaces in, on your nails and your wrist. And if everything fails, make sure to at least sing a happy birthday before you rinse off. And you have to make sure to rub your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you are not in close access to a bathroom to wash your hands, at least bring alcohol hand rub to disinfect your hands before meal and before touching your face. Hope this is a good reminder for everybody. See you next time. Thank you for watching my video.